We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome to day 30 of the Phantom Manus. Top 5 vintage collection action figures. These are just, you know, strictly 3 and 3 quarter inch action figures from the vintage collection. These are my top 5. These are, these are figures that I've sort of picked out of all the releases, um... And decided that these these are the best ones. These are these are my favourites. They might not be yours. I'd love to hear what your top five are from the Phantom Menace. Please send down the comments down below. Let's get started. I'll move the camera down. First up, I want to go with the Nemoidian Dalte Dauphine. Do a little bit more light on him here. This is still to this day one of the you know. You know, they haven't topped any Nemoidians since this guy. And this is probably the last Nemoidian action figure that actually was released. I don't think we've seen one since. He came out about 2011. Um, but yeah, the, the mix of, you know, paint detail on the head. The sculpt. I think his hat, yes, his hat did come off. So you go, you've got his head there. Just trying to put him back on the stand here. Just knocked him off. No, he doesn't want to sit. <laughs> Never mind. We'll sort that out in a moment. Um, yeah, just fantastic detail. The articulation is, you know, it's it's standard TVC articulation. Um, the soft goods are fantastic. He's got the shoulder articulation. He's got the robes. He's got elbows you get everything the sort of the plastic sort of gown over the top still gives room for detail underneath pretty sort of standard legs but you know just the layers of you know plastic over soft goods over plastic it just works so well um and yeah, they they definitely knock this one out of the park in my opinion. Of just just fixing up the little bit of blue tack on the feet there. I'll get rid of it. There we go. Yeah, the hat has been on there for a very long time, so <laughs> it's sort of stuck down now. It's now it's sort of sitting loose. Just gonna get him back on the peg there. So yeah, Dolte Dauphine coming in at number five. Let's go that side. Number three, uh, four, sorry, Darth Sidious. Now this probably could have bumped up the list a little bit more, um, you know, based on the fact that it's kind of two figures in one if you want. You can get two. What I've done is I've actually got a Darth Sidious here unrobed. You know, sort of got his, you know, just sort of standard dark side Sith robes. I've given him an extra lightsaber so he can have both of his blades. And if you've got the Darth Plagueis figure, these two go really well together. You know, you can have a bit of a pre-Phantom Menace sort of display with Darth Plagueis. But again, sort of the the advent of the, the sort of the plastic hood that sits over the top of the head. The soft good robes over the top. And yeah, if you got the, the most recent sort of vintage collection Emperor Palpatine, you can sort of do a you know a little bit of a comparison. I'm not gonna do it now, but you know, the same character years apart. So yeah, Palpatine, Darth Sidious. He comes in fourth place. Just he's a bit of a double. Coming in third place, we have the Gungan Warrior. Now I almost gave this spot to Jar Jar, but um, we have had a bit of a look at Jar Jar when I did my Jar 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 video the other day. We did a nice talk about Jar Jar. Um, but yeah, in terms, this one accessory-wise is really nice. 
He's doing, I think he was initially released as part of the Movie Heroes um, line when the uh, the Phantom Menace was coming out and he subsequently saw a release in the TVC. It may have been the other way around. But uh, yeah, this, this is one I would have loved to have seen, you know, get another release. You know, you can change them out. You've got the, the sort of the Gungan binoculars you can put on his shoulders. So you can have one, you know, displayed with this. You can have another one displayed with the spear star thing. Um, it would have been cool to mix them up a little bit. I'd love to see more Gungans. I don't have nearly enough Gungans in my collection. There are a couple of warriors that have been out in the past through um, Power of the Jedi, I think there was one. Um, and a couple other lines over the years as well. So I'd love to, love to add to the Gungans. But yeah, in terms of articulation, this one stands out really nicely. Great colours, great sculpt. Sort of scaled a little bit nicer than some of the Gungans from the 90s or from 99. Yeah, a lot of them, they sort of made them very large, big heads. These ones sort of fit more in line with the uh, with their human counterparts. So that's why he comes in number three. Now, my last two is a difficult one. But I'm just going to roll with it. Number two is Aura Singh. Just, you know, accessory wise, this one just killed it. Absolutely killed it. Another figure that was released in the Movie Heroes and then got the, uh, got the other release in the Vintage Collection. Probably the only... Only thing is the uh, the swivel hips, but that's not a big deal. You know, it's probably with the holsters and everything not allowing for much movement anyway. That's fine. It's got a giant rifle. It's got a two blaster pistols in the holsters. I don't think that's the right one. I need to double check that. It might be. Maybe it's, yeah, I need to double check that because that one is clearly different. Yeah, I'm going to have to double check. Because I'm pretty sure she carries the same blaster pistols. So whether that's just something I've just done quickly. The bonus thing is um, she came with a little bit of expanded universe bonus lore. Just a little bit of blue tack on that. That was just because it was sitting on the shelf. Now, in the old expanded universe, she was a Jedi hunter. And I think at one stage she was a Jedi and then she became a Jedi hunter. Um... So they included <coughs> this little suitcase with some lightsaber hilts in there, which was just a super cool little accessory, you know. Just really awesome. Like she was a you know hunter collector, you know sell sells lightsabers on the black market. In fact, that she was there on Tatooine amongst you know Qui Gon, Obi Wan Kenobi was there, Quinlan Vos was there. Um, yeah, just a really, really fine action figure. And sometimes it's the aliens. It's the it's the weird background characters that appeal the most. So now we get down to number one. This is uh, something of interesting looking aliens. Let's bring him in, Ben Quaternaros. Yes, he is my favourite. He is my favourite Phantom Menace vintage collection action figure. And he's probably up there as one of my favourite vintage collection figures, period. Because it's just outrageously silly. <laughs> I just love it. Um, and we all have uh, Fanboys director Kyle Newman to thank for this one. Um, he pushed Hasbro very, very hard to get this guy done. And they did it. They freaking did it, man. <laughs> and he came on a vintage card. I wish I, uh, I wish I kept another one on the card, just for the sake of it, because he's just, you know, Star Wars has always been, you know, it's always had the whimsical side, and this guy is the definition of that. You know, his body is a face. <laughs> Again, the detailing is outstanding. There might actually be a couple of paint splotches there on the leg. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, 2011, he's got the print on his bum. Well, I assume that's his bum. Yeah, it's also the back of his neck. <laughs> if you want to be, if you want to be uh, perfectly honest, there. Um, yeah, I think he came with with a, a weapon. I don't have it with him, but um, yeah, Ben Ben Quaternaro's man. He is the bee's knees. He does have knees, by the way. Um, yeah, he does have all the articulation you'd expect on a figure with no torso. Um, yeah, wrists, elbows, shoulders, hips. Yeah, he will he will fight you. Knees and even hinges in the ankles as well. So yeah, he's just he's just a cool dude, you know. He was he was destined for greatness on that day on Boon to Eve. And unfortunately his uh his mechanics failed him. His pod failed him. I like to think that he got his stuff back together and, uh, you know, had a successful pod racing career after that. But, um, yeah, there's my top five vintage collection Phantom Menace action figures. Please drop a comment down below. Let me know what your top five is. Love to hear it. One more video to go. We'll see you tomorrow. It's Figure Friday. May the force be with you, always. Mm -hmm.